Hey guys, this is Ron White from the National Geographic show Brain Games or the History Channel show Stan Lee's Superhumans. Have you ever wondered what the Sherlock Holmes Mind Palace is? Have you ever heard of a Mind Palace? Well, I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it to memorize anything freakishly fast. It is a crazy cool skill. Check this out. So what is a mind palace? Well, first of all, a few things. Number one, it's not just the work of fiction. It's an actual real thing and it was not invented by Sherlock oh. Holmes. Number two, it actually dates back about 2,500 years to 477 BC. It was invented by a man named Simonides in Greece. A mind palace is essentially a room or a building that you have memorized and you use the locations in that room to store data. Let me give you an example. You go to your friend's house, you take off your jacket when you walk in the door, and then you set your jacket down in a chair. You go throughout the party, you spend time at your friend's house that day, and then three or four hours when it comes time to leave, you know exactly you need to go back to that chair to get your coat. Why? Because the chair held that coat in your brain. And that is exactly what a mind palace is. If your friend had two or three or four or five pieces of furniture, one you could put a hat in, one you could put your keys in, you could in theory go back to each one of those locations and pick up the items that you left. The Mind Palace works the same way. You memorize locations in a room and then you later go back to those locations to retrieve the data that you want to remember. The easiest way to build your very own Mind Palace is to stand in the doorway of every room of your house. Stand in the doorway, start at the left, go around the room clockwise and pick five pieces of furniture. Number them one, two, three, four, five. Then go to the next room, stand in the doorway of that room and label them six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go to the next room, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. In every single room in your house, pick five pieces of furniture and number them going around the room clockwise. A few rules of thumb here. Pick big items don't pick small items. And number two, spread them out around the room. Good items to pick will be things like desks or beds or TVs or refrigerators or stoves or microwaves or sinks or bookshelves or computers. Pick lots of different items, but if you use a chair in one room, don't use a chair in the next. These locations are going to be places where you're going to mentally store data in your mind palace. Now, once you have these locations in your room numbered, then I want you to close your eyes and I want you to say all your files, one, all the way up to 20 or 30, however many you have, and then backwards, 30 to one. Say them forwards and backwards over and over again until you know them cold or until somebody could say what was number 10 and you could say what it was just like that. Next, a common objection to this is, is sometimes people will say, wow, Ron, this is too much work. Uh, you really want me to number all these pieces of furniture in my house and memorize all these pieces of furniture just to memorize a list of words or, or something else? It's not really true. You already have these locations memorized. I'm not asking you to memorize your house. You already have it memorized. I'm just asking you to number it. And once you have it numbered, it's going to be a crazy cool skill that you're going to be able to use to memorize anything you want. Now, let me give you an example of how you would use this to memorize something. Let's say that you wanted to memorize a list of words and on that list of words, number eight was a dog. Well, you've already determined what your eighth file is. Maybe it was your bed or your dresser or a desk or a computer. Let's say it was a computer. If number eight is your computer and I give you the word dog to memorize, you visualize a dog on your computer. The dog's biting the computer, the dog's barking at the computer, the dog's running around the computer. The more action emotion you see, the better. Then I say number nine is water and let's say that your number nine piece of furniture is a chair. Well, you see that chair in your brain and you imagine water pouring out of the sky and the water goes all over that chair. Then later when you want to recall the data, you go back around your mind palace and on the number eight spot, the computer, you see a dog. So you know the word was a dog. On the number nine spot, a chair, you see water. So you know that number nine was water. You always use every file in chronological order. And what I mean by that is this. If I say number eight is a dog and you think, oh, well, my number 13 piece of furniture is the mat 
where my dog sleeps, so I'm just gonna imagine my dog there on number 13. You don't do that. You put the dog in the mind palace in the order that it falls. If it's the first word, you put it on the first piece of furniture. If it's the third word, you put it on the third piece of furniture. If it's the eighth word, you put it on the eighth piece of furniture. You put it in the order that it falls, not where it makes sense in your house. And that's an important tip for the mind palace. All right, guys, that is the Sherlock Holmes mind palace. And I have used it for over two decades to memorize all kinds of things, lists, poems, books, and even set the record for the fastest to memorize a deck of cards in the United States. Enjoyed this video. We got a lot more cool videos coming out in the next few weeks and you're going to want to see them. So click the link below and subscribe so you make sure you can see those videos right when they first come out. Come on guys, click right here, subscribe. Here it is.